For the past 60 years, Michael Zagaris has taken his camera behind the scenes of the NFL, capturing the moments that define America's game. He's been to 42 Super Bowls and spent 49 years as team photographer for the San Francisco 49ers. His book is called Field of Play, 60 Years of NFL Photography, and Michael Zagaris joins us live. Good morning, Michael. Hey, what's going on, Pat? Well, I, I got to tell you, man, what a, what a fascinating life you have. And, I, and I'm really taken by how you became a photographer in, in the first place. You never took a, a formal photography class. And the guy that, that you could almost say is solely responsible for you becoming a photographer is Eric Clapton. Talk, talk us through that and tell me how that all came to be. I was I was writing a book on how the English musicians really came over here using our American blues roots, but reworking them and had their own sense of style and fashion. And we're changing our culture, being changed by it. Over a period of a year, I had interviewed a lot of people. I interviewed Eric when Cream was breaking up. He came back. He was with Delaney and Bonnie. I went to hang out with him in his uh, room in Sausalito and. Um, you know, over the course of about an hour and a half, we were smoking some hash. <laughs> we were having all the esoteric discussions you have when, you know, you're both high. He was looking through the transcripts of the interview we had done. I was marking proof sheets. And at one point he said, um, man, what have you got there? And I said, uh, proofs. He says, can I have a look? And at that point, I handed him a loop and a proof sheet, and he proceeded to go like this. And I said, he said, oh, these are, these are quite good. Said Eric, if you actually put the loop on the proof sheet and put your eye on the loop, you can see. And he started looking and he, he went nuts. He said, Man, these are great. He says, Can we use these? And I said, For what? He says, Albums, songbooks. He says, Look, man, we'll pay you. The writing's all right, but you should be like doing this for a gig. And that was it, because at, at that point in time, I was searching for what I wanted to do. And that was it. And then right you, time, right place. Yeah, you essentially became a, a rock photographer first after that. Well, you know what? I, I wasn't really a rock photographer or a sports photographer. I wasn't even a photographer. My camera really allowed me an entree into the world and into the scene that I wanted to become for a while, much the way an actor in using Stanislavski method becomes who he's acting. And it allowed me back into locker rooms and clubhouses because I'd played ball all through high school and college. And shooting rock and roll, I, I started to miss sports. And what my approach was always photojournalism. I wanted to take people where they hadn't been before. You go to a concert, you always see everybody on the stage playing. I wanted to show them in the hotels, in the locker room, in, in the backstage dressing room. The same with football and baseball. I wanted you to have the experience of being a player or, or the next best thing to it. And I was lucky that Bill Walsh, when he became coach, we had the discussion about it. He was into history. Um, he was an academic. You know, I pitched him the idea and I said, coach, I'm to do what I want to do to really capture the history, not just for the team, but for the league, I'm going to have to have total access. And that means being with the team, pregame practices, on the plane, in the locker room at halftime. I want to get everything unfettered. And I was very fortunate he bought into it. Yeah, you, you shot uh, baseball, football. I'm sure you've shot other sports before. The book, though, is uh, all about the NFL. What is it about the NFL and football in particular that makes it, um, I don't know, so special to shoot and, and something that you seem to take the most enjoyment out of? Well, I think that football, especially in the last 40, 50 years, it really defines who we are as a nation, as a people, in much the same way the bullfight defined who Spain was and is. You have pageantry, you have speed, you have violence. You have all of those things mixed into one. And it's kind of the perfect metaphor for who we are. 
in much the same way baseball really defined us in the last century as you know a, a slower more pastoral game do you have any any specific um photographs or moments from from all of all of these years that that are your favorites or are your most memorable i mean god it's hard there are so many but i mean yeah. obviously that that cover shot of coach walsh and joe montana where they appear to be drawing a play in the dirt um there's a shot of eric wright a double truck where he's laid out at halftime on a laundry basket we were playing in st louis and it was 112 on the field um i remember that and that was in uh, 1980 it was 83. we came back with like seven players packed in ice with ivs that were mm. dehydrated um prime he would he would always come to the games he'd go in he'd shower then he'd come out dry himself off he had a, when he showered he had a pair of green boxers with white dollar signs He'd come out, dry himself off, then he'd put on white boxers with green dollar signs. Uh. He had his entire uniform laid out from socks to pants to jersey to wristbands to headband. And it was yeah. all laid out in front of his locker. Um, that That's one of my favorite shots. All right. And there, I mean, there are so many other yeah. 60 years. Can't even imagine. Well, you, you can check out Michael on Instagram. The book is Field of Play, 60 Years of NFL Photography. Thanks so much. Thank you, Pat.